a little bit earlier on, it happened to bump into the very goalkeeping coach at the petrol station and he was on his way down here himself and they were very happy with how things went last weekend and were obviously hoping to carry that form on here. Two away games for them in a row, not easy, but they got the win last week, they'll be hoping for similar a similar outcome here today, but so far it's been fairly even played into the edge of the box to Mark Doyle. Oh, what a finish from Doyle! Just inside the uh, penalty spots mark, I suppose you could say, just outside the six yard box. Great ball in and a great finish from Mark Doyle. Got a lot of time and space in the box, but he availed of it. And with uh, just under 10 minutes gone, it's draw the United 1, Ray Wanderers 0. A great finish from Doyle, but really. The Bray defenders will be wondering how he found himself with so much space. He was able to take a touch. I think it was Brandon Birmingham with the cross. And uh, Doyle got on the end of it. Had time to take a touch and look up and stuck it in the bottom corner. Great finish from, from the touchline, as is Kevin Doherty. Two main men. And it's going to be Jay Coyle with the free kick with that left foot of his. It's a high one landing in the round the penalty spot. A little bit of a nudge on Mark Doyle there. Referee says play away. Comes back. James Clark. What a goal that is! Incredible stuff. And uh, I see Richie O'Farrell putting it. He's definitely having a look at the goal, so you can expect to see the draw of the players following in on this one. He has a goal, Birmingham, and it's well, it's carried up in the air by Brian Maher. I thought he might have held on to it. It was a good strike from Birmingham, but back Connor Kane, number three on his back. A familiar sight now at United Park. He's been here a number of years and a very important player for them. Good blocking then by Chrissy Lyons there. And it's come all the way up to Joel Doyle again. Ray Wanderers desperately trying to get back into this game. They haven't really created a significant chance so far. They've had a lot of pressure and a lot of set pieces, but they haven't really tested David Odomosu yet. A couple of relatively straightforward saves for the draw of the goalkeeper. Here's uh, Sean McAvoy. And it's come all the way through well. It was a good tackle on the edge of the box. It's come back to McAvoy and he's found the bottom corner. Would you believe it? Just as I was saying, they had in trouble, David Odomosu. Odomosu. Sean McAvoy slides one into the bottom corner and draw it with seven minutes gone in the second half have had their lead cut in half really out of nowhere there that one came from and, uh, just like in the first half with Mark Doyle only takes a second a little lapse in concentration and that's what can happen so draw it now just with a one goal lead and that will certainly wake them up a little bit, not that they've been uh, taking their foot off the pedal or anything like it, but it's certainly refocused their minds, and once again it's Chris Lyons. Mark Doyle makes a little saunter towards the near post, and Brennan, well he's laid it back in the direction of Connor Kane, but a really, really poor ball, and now here comes Bray, and Drogheda are stretched big time here because they had everybody forward for the corner, and it's come to Derek Daly, great chance for him, and it's cleared, well I don't think it was going in, but essentially cleared off the line as the ball was making its way across and over your centre back because he's all over you the whole time and on comes Stephen Meany so Drogheda United with just under 10 minutes to go holding on to this 2-1 lead and uh, hoping that they can get to the end of the game once Gave here they come again Mark Doyle through the middle will he have a go? he will and it's a good save by the keeper it was straight at him more or less but it was a good hit from Doyle Comfortable enough save for Brian Maher in the Bray Wanderers goal. Good header clear from Derek Prendergast. And uh, I'm here at United Park as the darkness closes in around us, but the uh, floodlights all in full effect here. And working well. Here's Stephen Meany on the edge of the box, and it's uh, out to Sean Brennan. Takes a touch, knocks it inside to Meany again. Good play from Brennan, it's through the defender and then played it to Meany. He has a goal on his left foot, blocked down by Derek Daly, and it's come back to Birmingham again here on the edge of the box. Works it onto his right foot, drives it across the goal, and it's that 3 1 it is. And I think it's uh, Stephen Meany that has it. I was just looking at the linesman's flag to see if it went up because. I thought he might have been offside for a minute, but it's 3-1, and that should be game set and match for Drogheda, with just three minutes of normal time to go. It is indeed Steve Amini, who just got on the end of it, right in the centre of the six-yard box, couldn't miss, tap in, and the referee is telling the Drogheda players to get back to the uh, centre circle and back into their own half, so the game can restart. He's pointing to his watch, but uh, really and truly, it wasn't like they uh, celebrated for an extent.